Hi, this is Dave of JavaCodeJunkie.com and welcome back to another JavaFX tutorial. In this video, we're going to explore how to switch scenes in JavaFX. I'm going to show you three methods to switch scenes. So let's get started. So this tutorial is going to be a little different than our previous tutorials. I'm not actually going to write any code as we explore the concepts of switching scenes. I've set up three separate programs to illustrate the concept of switching scenes in JavaFX. Now let's just have a look at the first one, which actually creates a new stage to display a separate scene. So what we're going to do is actually run the program, look at how it functions, and then come back and see how I made that work. Right click run as Java application. And so we have a stage titled stage one with a scene graph at this point that only contains a vertical box with a button. Now the button has a set on action method that allows us to switch to a new stage. If we click on the click to show stage two button, what's going to happen is the second stage will be shown. It's already created, so the button click event shows the new stage. And then the button click event in the second stage simply closes the stage. Now I've set this up to be application modal so that we actually have to do something with this yellow stage before we can do anything with the first or main stage. So click to close. So that's the first method of switching scenes. It's actually to create a separate stage with a new scene. Let's go back now and have a look at the program where I've set up some instance variables for the two stages. And they're essentially identical, the only differences being the set on action method. And here's the set on action using a lambda expression for button one. It's set on action stage two dot show. So simply show the second stage, which contains a scene. Stage two, the on action simply closes stage two and we return back to stage one. So that's one method of switching stages or creating new scenes within a separate stage. So let's close this one now and move on to the second method, which is going to switch a scene within the single stage that we're going to create. So we will run that again and see how that works in practice, and then we'll come back and we'll look at the code. Right click, run as Java application. And so here we have our first scene, and we have a button that's labeled click to show scene two. So once we click this, we'll show scene two, and it simply replaces scene one in the same stage. Scene one is a larger scene, so the stage is resized appropriately. Click to show scene two. Scene two is a smaller scene. So again, the stage is resized to fit snugly around that scene. And that's how we switch two scenes within the same stage. So let's go look at the code. Again, it's very similar to our first example, but in this one, we only have one stage. And then we have two scenes, again, comprised of a vertical box as the root of our scene graph in each and a button that has behavior attached. Now, the magic again here is in the set on action. I've set up a simple method to do the switching of the scenes. So the switch scene method accepts a scene as a parameter and then sets that scene on the current and only stage. So we call that method from each of the two buttons, passing the, in the case of the first scene, when we want to switch, we'll pass the second scene as the argument to that method. And in the second scene, we will pass the first scene as the argument to the method. So again, very simple. And that's how you switch scenes within a single stage. So let's move on now to the third method. Again, we'll run this one and we'll see how it looks in practice. Right click, run as Java application. Now this one, I have a border layout and I've placed a button in the top, left, right, and bottom sections. 
And this switching is not actually going to switch the entire scene. It's going to switch a pane in the center. So we're going to use a layout pane, a vertical box, as we have been doing for the other two examples, that's going to be switched within the center area of our border pane. So that allows us to maintain whatever we have in the other portions of our screen, such as in the top, maybe if we had a toolbar and a menu bar in the left, we have something else in the right, something and in the bottom, maybe we have a status bar. Those pieces remain and we're simply replacing the center area of our border pane. So that's another way to actually do it. So we click to show pane two in this example, what's going to happen is we're actually going to replace the center area of our border pane with a new pane, the vertical box that we've created for showing the content for our second pane. Click, and now we have the yellow pane that's shown within the center area. So let's now go to the code and have a look at that. And again, it's very similar. We have a single stage in this one, a single scene, and we've introduced a border pane, which is going to be the root element of our scene graph. We have two vertical boxes, each containing a button, and the set on action for the button actually takes care of switching the two panes. So in this one, I've set up a little different method. It's called switch panes instead of switch scenes, and I pass it a pane element, in this case, a vertical box for each, but it accepts a pane or anything that descends from the pane class. And in our border pane, we'll do a set center using the element that's passed in. So the first one, initially we set the center with the first vertical box, which is the green box, and then we show the stage. Just quickly see that again. We get the green vertical box. Click to show pane two. Pane two is clicked. The set on action takes our second vertical box, passes it to the set pane function, and the set pane function then sets the center of our border pane with the new second vertical box. Code for this project will be available on GitHub and I will leave a link to that in the description below. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, please click the thumbs up button to like the video. Also, please consider subscribing to the channel to view more JavaFX videos. Thanks again for hanging out with me today. I hope to see you next time and until then, stay safe and keep on coding.